I was brought up a <coughs> Catholic Christian, and as a child, I had a lot of time for that. I'm not saying I was a goody two shoes, but I was, you know, I was quite serious about uh, about religion. Uh, but uh, by the time I was um, thirteen, I think. Uh, I thought very deeply about the idea of God, and and really the the, the theistic notion uh, of uh, God, supreme being, author of the universe, yet at the same time standing outside the universe, it didn't make sense to me. I could see many kind of intellectual problems with such a such a supreme being, utterly transcendent, yet in some sense remote from the world, and I began. To, at the same time, to reflect on certain experiences I'd had as a as a young child, experiences in 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 which uh, kind of solid ex experience of uh, solid objects, external external world and so on, had, had fallen away. So the combination of those those experiences that I had as a child, and then my kind of intellectual um, questions about uh, theism. Uh, uh, led me to the were there already, and then at the age of fourteen, uh, I was introduced to the works of Jack Kerouac and the other Beat authors by a kind English master at my Catholic grammar school, and immediately I heard about Buddhism and his teaching of emptiness. I kind of recognised something in it. I felt an almost familiarity with this, and of course also this clarified and brought to fruition my intellectual kind of doubts about uh, Christian theory of the world. So I, I knew I was a Buddhist from, from then on. I didn't meet my teachers in, for another five or six years, but I was a Buddhist from then on. And uh, this was like uh, coming home to me.